I bet most kids born in the early to mid 2000s have seen and are quite fond of the movie Diary of a Wimpy Kid, but I bet the last thing that anyone thought when they saw this movie is that Rodney James, or more so the real man behind Rodney James, Ryan Grantham, would commit murder in the following years. Ryan would be born in 1998 in British Columbia, Canada. His father would leave him at a very young age. This brought a lot of hardships for him at a very young age and kind of forced him to grow up quickly. Growing up, his mother though was very supportive and was very encouraging of Ryan's acting career and he would start acting in 2007 with his first role being an instant hit movie The Secret of the Nutcracker huh well, while his first movie wasn't a great success, he continued acting in mostly direct-to-DVD movies for a few years. It wouldn't be until 2010 where he would get his role in Diary of a Wimpy Kid, where he would play as Rodney, a kid who instead of wanting to act in the school play, would rather play on his DS. Wonder what he's playing? Oh, it's the Deal or No Deal DS port. While this role did not shoot him into stardom, this definitely put him on a map, and in 2012, he would finally get his first lead role in the movie, Becoming Redwood, which is a movie about hippies and golf. 5 out of 10, but that's besides the point. For this movie, Ryan would actually give a short interview, which can show us a little bit about how he was as a young child. Hi, I'm Ryan Grantham. I think determination is one of the biggest things a person can have, and I think because of Redwood, I've definitely grown in determination, so that's definitely going to stick with me. Uh, if I could go back to the 70s, I think it'd be because of the fashion, just because, look at these. How awesome are these pants? What we can tell is that he was quite a normal young child, with him talking about how he loved the clothes from the 70s and was quite well spoken with him talking about determination pretty clearly. He would continue working on his acting career appearing in films and TV shows such as Supernatural, iZombie, and in 2019 he would even land a role in Riverdale as Jeffrey. However, little known to anyone else, Ryan's mental health had been on the decline. And in early 2020, Ryan would actually quit his university classes at Simon Fraser University. This was because Ryan was going through quite a depressive time. However, him quitting university only made him more depressed, suicidal, and he also began having homicidal thoughts such as acts of mass violence, and a specific hate towards the Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Ryan also began smoking a lot of weed as well as drinking heavy amounts of alcohol. Ryan still hadn't told his mother that he had dropped out of university and began increasingly worried of her finding out. Here's a quote from his journal. Quote, I didn't want her to know what I had become, end quote. Ryan clearly saw himself as a failure and had a lot of self-hate. However, instead of simply talking to his mother, Ryan would go on to murder her. And on March 31st, Ryan would do the unthinkable. Before doing the horrendous crime, Ryan would sit on his stairs unloading and reloading his rifle for about 15 minutes, debating if he was really going to go through with it. But 15 minutes came and went, and then Ryan would come up behind his loving mom while she was playing the piano, close his eyes, take a deep breath, then shoot her once in the back of the head. Right after the murder, Ryan would go on to record a confession tape right next to his mother's dead body. After doing that, Ryan would go on to the liquor store and dispensary to purchase more weed and alcohol. When the next day came around, Ryan would leave the Squamish home where he'd then load up his car with three firearms and 12 Molotov cocktails. He intended to set out on a 50 hour long journey to kill Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. However, he only made it as far as Hope in British Columbia before heading back towards Vancouver to commit an act of mass violence. And while Ryan was on his way to Vancouver, his sister would just be getting home and would find their mother's dead corpse. After finding her corpse, she would then go on to call the cops, and then Ryan once again wouldn't go through his plans, thankfully, and he would actually turn himself into the Vancouver police on April 1st, 2020. Ryan Grantham would later be found guilty of second degree murder, and in Canada, the minimum sentence will be life in prison with a minimum of 10 years before the possibility of parole, and the max being 25 years before the possibility of parole. Ryan still hasn't had his hearing about about his parole yet, but it's very obvious that Ryan is basically going to be spending the rest of his life in jail. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.